finding the transformation matrix for a given um, transformation. So in this case, we're going to start uh, rotate this point B negative 90 degrees about A, which is the origin. So uh, we'll go into main to start this. And uh, first thing is to go split screen with geometry. So here we are, uh, the geometry icon. So downstairs geometry, upstairs main. Now. We're going to turn on everything here, the axes, tap again to get a scale, tap again to get the dots, tap again to get the grid background. And I'm going to plot my two points A and B with the line tool here. So tap once on the origin to get A, and we'll tap B, 2, 1, and there's our point B. Now we need to go back and get the selection tool at this stage, and then tap on to uh, B to select it. And we want to ask ClassPad to rotate it about A. So here we go. Draw, Construct, Rotation. And ClassPad is saying in the information box at the bottom of the screen here to tap the rotation center, which is A. So I'll tap onto A. And it's asking us what angle. So we want to rotate by negative 90. And that's set. And that's uh, basically... Uh, 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 clockwise and you can see here it's been rotated clockwise 90 degrees to its new position now to determine the transformation matrix for that uh, B is already selected I'm going to select its image so we've selected the object the image and we've just let class pad carry out a transformation now when I drag these pair up to the uh, main window and release you can see here is the transformation matrix for that uh, procedure. And if I tap execute, you can see we actually get the mapping that X is mapped onto Y and Y is mapped onto negative X. So um, there we go, how to find the transformation matrix.